Hello, Mystery Seekers. I'm Greg, with another episode of my History Mystery blog. What if human civilization isn't the first to walk on Earth? Today, we are diving into, into a mind-bending journey through deep time, where geology, archaeology, and cosmic philosophy collide. In this poetic and thought-provoking exploration, we uncover the tantalizing possibility that advanced civilizations may have risen and vanished millions of years before us, leaving behind only whispers in the rocks, ice cores, and isotopic anomalies. As always, I've brought along my brilliant co-host, Brian, to guide us through the details. So, cozy up, get comfortable, and let him take the reins. Brian, the mic is yours. Thanks for setting the stage, Greg. Now, while you kick back, I'll handle the heavy lifting, because we're about to unlock a secret buried in time. A story the world has overlooked for over a thousand years. Imagine our planet not as a mere backdrop for human drama, but as a vast, whispering library, its shelves lined with layers of stone and sediment, each page a fossil, each chapter a millennium. This is no ordinary world, it is a living chronicle, a silent witness to eons of transformation, catastrophe and quiet rebirth. For over four billion years, Earth has spun through the cosmos like a well-worn book tossed between stars, its spine cracked by asteroid impacts, its margins scorched by ice ages, its narrative rewritten by tectonic upheavals that shifted continents like restless thoughts in a dreaming mind. In this grand timescale, the entirety of human civilization, our wars, our art, our cities rising like sparks from a fire, amounts to little more than a single sentence, perhaps a footnote, a blink, a sigh. And yet, within that sigh, we dare to believe we are the first to ask the stars their names, the first to build, to wonder, to leave a mark. But what if we are not the pioneers of intelligence, but merely the latest tenants in a house that has seen many before us? What if, long before our ancestors crawled out of the mud, another mind, perhaps not so different from ours, gazed at the same moon and whispered, I am here. This is not a tale of Atlantis or alien astronauts. This is a quiet, poetic meditation on possibility, that we may not be the first technological civilization to grace this blue marble, and that the ghosts of those who came before might still linger, not in temples or tablets, but in the very bones of the earth. Traditional archaeology is a discipline of stone and bone. It digs for pottery shards, for spearheads, for the crumbling foundations of forgotten cities. It is a science of the durable, the heavy, the obvious. But what if an ancient civilization built not with granite and bronze, but with grass, with biopolymers, with sunlight harnessed through leaves of synthetic chlorophyll? What if their technology was so harmonious with nature that it left no scars, only subtle ripples in the sediment? But we are learning to see deeper. Satellite mapping and LIDAR, laser scanning from the sky, have already rewritten history. In the jungles of Central America, LIDAR peeled back the canopy like a curtain, revealing thousands of Mayan structures, pyramids, roads, aqueducts, hidden for centuries beneath vines and time. What else lies buried, not just under jungle, but under ocean, under ice, under the weight of eons? Modern tools allow us to read the Earth like a diary. Mass spectrometry deciphers the isotopic fingerprints of ancient climates. Oxygen isotopes tell us how hot it was. Carbon isotopes reveal what plants were grown, what fuels were burned. We can trace trade routes, migrations, even shifts in diet, all from a speck of pottery or a fragment of bone. In South America, studies of Incan metalwork show sophisticated alloys, evidence of advanced metallurgy long before European contact. In Mesopotamia, irrigation systems altered river courses, leaving scars in the soil that speak of ambition and ingenuity. These are not just ruins, they are echoes of thought, of planning, of civilization. And what if future scientists, millions of years from now, study our layer? What will they find? Will... Must intelligence wear a face? Must it live in a skull? Consider the ant, alone, a simple creature. Together, a superorganism. Building cities, waging wars, farming fungi, communicating in chemical whispers. A colony thinks, adapts, survives, not through individual genius, but through collective intelligence. 
Now imagine a planet-scale mind, a network of trillions of microbes, fungi and plants exchanging information through chemical signals, electrical pulses, even fungal highways beneath the soil. This is not fantasy, it's the emerging science of the wood wide web. Some scientists dare to suggest that Earth itself may possess a form of consciousness, a self-regulating system as proposed by the Gaia hypothesis. If so, then perhaps the most advanced civilizations never built skyscrapers. They didn't need to. They became the ecosystem. They didn't conquer nature. They were nature. And their technology? It wasn't circuits and code, but symbiosis, balance, resilience. We look for ruins, but what if the greatest civilization left no ruins at all? If we are not the first, then we may not be the last, and every choice we make now, every ton of carbon emitted, every forest cleared, every species driven to extinction, etches a line in the geological record. Future archaeologists, human or otherwise, will study our era, not by our books or our art, but by the plastic layer in the sediment, the spike in carbon isotopes, the sudden disappearance of species. They will call it the Anthropocene. They may call it the Great Mistake. We've sent messages into space, golden records on Voyager, titanium plaques with star maps, but these are gestures, like carving initials into a tree. The real message is in the soil, in the air, in the silence of extinct birds. Will we be remembered as the species that learned in time, or the one that burned the library and forgot the password? The hypothesis of pre-human civilizations remains speculative. There is no smoking gun, no skull with a smartphone in its hand, but absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. The Earth is a master of concealment. It buries, it melts, it recycles, it forgets on purpose. And perhaps that is the lesson, that intelligence is fragile, that progress is not inevitable, and that the universe does not care about our monuments. But if someone came before us and failed then we carry their warning in our bones. We are not alone in time. We are part of a long, quiet lineage of minds that reached for the stars and sometimes fell. So let us build not for glory, but for endurance. Let us leave not just traces, but wisdom. Let us prove that this time the story ends differently, because someone long ago may have already tried and failed, but we, we, might still make it. And that's a wrap for today. We hope this presentation was both helpful and inspiring, and that it sparked your curiosity about history mystery. If you enjoyed what you heard, be sure to check out more of our podcast. We've got plenty more celestial wisdom coming your way. Got a topic you're dying to explore? Let us know. It'll be my pleasure to dive into it in a future video and answer all your burning questions. Till then, stay curious. Stay cosmic and live your best, most aligned life.